I'm in Essex and I'm reading a sign that says you should avoid walking your dog in this area. Why is that? Well, local vets have identified a new disease here, Babesia canis. It's carried by ticks. It's a serious disease. And I'm afraid to say that we think that this outbreak is potentially just the tip of an iceberg. I met up with Professor Richard Wall and we swept the grassland for ticks. We've never had this pathogen established in the UK before and the ticks have now reached a sufficient abundance and they're sufficiently widespread to be transmitting those pathogens. OK, there's one and that is a Dermacenter reticulatus. That's the first one I've ever seen in the UK. What about that? Vet Clive Swainsbury has treated a number of the dogs that have been found in Essex with canine babesiosis. So once you'd identify it, were you then better placed to be able to try and treat it? Absolutely, because the, the, the treatment, the conventional disease, is appropriate to stop the dog destroying its blood, but unless you know the parasite's there, you have to administer a special drug to kill the parasite. This is Holly Wilson and her dog Olive, who contracted canine babesiosis and thankfully was properly treated. It was a really emotional time and when she was bitten, um, she didn't start showing symptoms until a week later, but I, now, if they've been bitten by a tick and you see one, you need to get, to them, get them to the vet straight away and don't leave it. So really, she's an extremely lucky dog. Here at the University of Bristol, they're leading the fight against ticks in the UK by organising the Big Tick Project. The idea is to find out about the distribution and population of these animals so we can better manage the pathogens that they carry and therefore improve the health of ourselves and our pets.